A good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. So this video today is in regards to surplus funds and my conversation with Mr. Spencer Vance. So I called Mr. Spencer Vance, and I used a skip trace like he suggested. He told me, well, it's unethical for businesses to contact other businesses. Um, using a skip trace, um, I simply had difficulty navigating the website when I would email the uh, the link for help. I would get no help. Um, I would get a genetic link and then no response back. Um, also, when I was speaking and asking questions about surplus funds, Mr. Vance uh, was a very rude and impolite. Um, so to Mr. Vance, personally, Mr. Vance, if you can't handle shots that are being fired back at you and questions that are being back fired back at you and you react in such a manner, people are going to look at it like, holy shit, um, you know, uh, you have to learn to react and respond to questions. I was simply acting from an outside perspective, sir, um, and... I apologize for calling you in such a manner, but I had no other option. Um, so, um, you has Mr. Vance has also stated that it was unethical to skip trace and call a person in such a manner, but yet he does it for business purposes. Again, I was doing it for business purposes. So if it's on it's such an unethical thing, then why is it? Um, why is why is he able to do it and nobody else is able to do it, especially when they contact him? Um, he explained to me that people were trying to cause him harm. What the fuck? Um, if I ever hear that in my state, I will find you, and I will I will personally handle you because that's not okay to threaten the man's family. Personally, my thing is, if you're going to threaten a person, you threaten them personally. You don't go after their family. Um, you take and you handle the matters like men. You talk like men. Or you don't threaten. Um, you remember that we are an act of all an act of commerce. Everything's an act of commerce. You cannot threaten, coerce, or do such acts. Um... And anybody who did that to him, you're wrong for that. Second off, I meant him no harm. I simply wanted to try to get on to this, that's all. So, Mr. Vance, if you were watching this, which I know you are, please understand that my calling you was only to make you better. I only wish to improve the money that you're making and make more money. I, I also wish to support my family. I understand. I have a family. I have kids. I have a kid. Um, hopefully kids um, one day. Um, but, yeah, I understand. And I am totally agree with you. But, Mr. Vance, you have to realize that if you can't handle how a question is being asked to you and you respond to like you did to me, to, to, a, to a regular individual that it's not like you and me of that uh, understanding then I, I understand um, that it's a business but see you have to be able to answer questions when they're asked um, and sometimes you do get intelligent people who do ask smart questions how can credit, first off, how can credit be created from nothing? If it's pre-credit, how can it be, be created from nothing? Um, second, um, if they're creation of money, how is that money created? Where's the note coming from? Um, who's the signature? Who's the debtor? Who's the liable one? See, these are things that we have to understand. And I was not... I criticized him, yes, but it was to critique. And an individual who critiques and says, hey, look, you got a few things here. You should listen. You shouldn't be rude and disrespectful, uh, especially when you're talking about 
unethically skip tracing people and how it's unethical for a business to do so, but yet you do it all the time. Um, I also did studies into assets and air locations. Um, I love to see a video on assets and air locations. Would love a video like that, Mr. Van. We need more production of videos. And um, I also would like to again talk about alternative types of payments some alternative way to pay you is i can pay in money check or something wire it from west union or something straight to your bank account um or to the the company's bank account is what i mean um i would be more than willing to find some alternative payment if you're willing to work with me mr van i want to get on in this shit i want to make the money um i just need a little help i just need a little push just give me a little. It's like it's like it's like uh, momentum and gravity. All it needs is a little push, right? And that's all I need is a little push. Somebody to say, "Hey, look, this is this is what you also need." Because I know I'm missing pieces, and I know you're missing pieces. And people like you and me who are intelligent, Mister Van, we put pieces together and we make money. Money's all around us. Or we just have to know how to grab it. And you, my friend, are a go-getter, and I like that. And I wanna, I wanna work with you, um, if you are willing to work with me. Um, I, I will uh, put my contact information, the business contact information for my business. I run a business in the state of Minnesota, um, but right now because funds are scarce, I thought um, that surplus funds will be able to. Give me more surplus funds. Um, also, I don't know where to start about giving you the information. Um, what information do you need? You said just give them the information, um, but you never specified what type of information I would need to give them in order for them to do such uh air location for me because I know I have funds out there and money out there. I have bonds sitting in my name, um, 500,000. Um, I have a uh, $500,000 bond sitting in my name, a $25,000 bond sitting in my name. Um, I just need to know how to, to get those. And I'm, yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, and I'll, I'm willing to even give, give you, uh, in my state, it's a 10% commission. I think it's a 10% commission in California, but um, I'm, I'm willing to give you as much as 20. So the money is not, I'm not worried about money. Also, I, I would love to teach you how to get gold, um, turn those debt dollars into gold. Um, I actually physically know how to turn those debt dollars into gold. And I'm, I'm actually going to actually uh, have a video here soon about that. So, um, you know, I, um, you know, please get in contact with me. Um, I'm again having difficulty with the links. The web, the the email you gave me is not working, and I don't know why. Um, I called the phone number. It's it has said discon. It said disconnected. And then it rings and rings and rings, and nobody answers. And then it picks up. And then it disconnects. Um, these are some of the difficulties I'm having. Um, I'm sorry when I called you, you I was kind of discombobulated. You, we kind of threw each other off the way we came at each other. But from what I can tell, Mr. Van, you are very professional, very respectful. And that's the type of people that I need around me. That's the people I've been looking for for 28 years. And if you're willing to uh, work, I'm more than willing to do this. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this was the experience that I had with speaking with Mr. Van when I turned the tables on Mr. Van and put him on the chopping block for the cold call. Sometimes it's actually fun to put a, another person on a cold call um, because, you know, it, it's good to be put on that cold call on the other side too because now you're put on their side and you have to understand both sides in order for it and sometimes people who make a lot of money then forget because they're so used to being on one side and not the other side and i was just reminding him again that 
questions, smart questions can be asked. And if you can't answer them in a way that we need to, or you need to, it can really affect your business. So, um, Mr. Van, please don't take this as criticism or or me being disrespectful in any way. I am asking for help. I am simply just pointing out things um, that uh, that has to be looked at. Um, that should be looked out for. That sometimes has to be looked out from an outside perspective because if you have an outside perspective of somebody who's not doing it. And they're asking questions. That's good. You want people to ask questions. You want people to learn about this. You want people to learn about it um, and educate themselves. Uh, Mr. Van, um, you have a wonderful day. Uh, You and everybody on YouTube, take care. Uh, Thank you for watching. Share, subscribe. Tell me what you think about my experience with speaking with Mr. Van and actually reversing the tables of a cold call. Um, And um, tell me what you think about my comments. Um, Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Continue to watch. Thank you.